It is barbaric to force our low-income Rhode Islanders to choose between groceries and paying their utility bills. I'm a low-income resident from Pawtucket, and I think we really need right now is PIP, especially at a time where folks are, you know, unemployed, like record-breaking unemployed folks right now. So what is the point of charging people, um, you know, bills that they can't pay? And then they end up with a ton of debt in the future. PIP used to be something that was already law here in Rhode Island. I'm not really sure why, what is the difficulty with re-implementing this law when it used to be law before. You know, the PUC, Governor Gina Raimondo, our politicians need to stand up and at least do the bare bin minimum for folks. With the coronavirus and things like that going on, where people are, you know, having their hours cut or being laid off, it makes it even more complicated because even with the uh, unemployment, a lot of times you fall behind and it becomes almost impossible to catch up. Me personally, I've dealt with uh, National Grid threatening every month to cut the utilities off, even though I'm trying my best to make payments and giving what I do have to them. I've gotten a notice every month. The stress in itself is completely just, is devastating. Especially when you do not know if, you know, at any given time, if they're gonna cut off, you know, the electricity or something, and food will spoil, you won't be able to shower. It literally interferes with every aspect of your life. And it is important for people with low income to be able to, you know, have these necessities in order to survive. We should not be shutting off people in the time of crisis right now when people are literally broke. There's poor people who cannot afford to pay this. We need to implement PIP that will cap the monthly income at 4% so that people don't have to be suffering through this time right now. They need to stop shutting off utilities for people because this is not the time to be doing that. No one can pay basically anything. So I just don't think that this should be happening, that PIP should be implemented. We need PIP now because it is an affordable plan for people to pay their utility bills, which keep rising and rising. And these are working class people who need help, financial help. And this is a plan that eases their suffering.